Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm a digital media expert and today I'm going to show you how to combine iTunes accounts. Now technically you can only have one account at a time, but there's certain ways to get around that because the ultimate goal in combining your accounts is so you can listen to all the music together on the same computer. So let's say you have your own computer and uh, your brother or sister has a computer and you want to be able to listen to each other's music. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? So inside of iTunes here, we want to cruise up to iTunes and then Preferences. Okay, and you want to make sure that you're under the Sharing Preferences here, uh, or Tab, and you want to make sure that your Share My Library on My Local Network is checkmarked off. And then usually you just want to select Share Entire Library. Or if you do want to select uh, a specific genre of categories such as music, movies, and so on, you can do that as well here. But I'm going to hit OK for now. Uh, what we're going to do is cruise over here to the top left and select the down arrow and go down to home sharing, OK? Because we do need to turn this on so we can listen to our family members' iTunes library via Wi-Fi. So that's kind of cool that Apple and iTunes allows us to do that. So let's go ahead and type in my, my account, my password for my Apple ID, and then turn on home sharing. OK, and that's it. And just hit done. And that's pretty much it and how to combine separate accounts. And then from there, once uh, the other party has logged on to their iTunes account, and they have their computer on, you'll be able to see their entire library through your own computer and be able to click and play and access their library from your computer, hence combining your accounts. So there you guys go. If you do have any other questions, please let us know and thank you for watching.